welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. So this morning I decided to film a um, quick glam glowy everyday makeup look and I haven't done one of these in a long time so it was definitely due. Um, for it to be done today. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. I hope you guys um, Like some of the products I use. I hope you like this look and I love to watch other people do their makeup and I Don't know. I get so many good ideas. Sometimes people have tricks that I never knew So maybe if I have a trick that you are going to try let me know Let's get into today's video and see how I got this look. I haven't filmed a makeup video in so long that I don't even know where to begin, but I have my setup and I have a mirror in front of me. I think it's better than looking over here. So let me know how you like that. If you hear a dog, my puppy is somewhere on the couch and he likes to bark at all the squirrels and stuff he sees outside. So ignore that. So in today's video, we are going to do a really easy, glowy makeup because why not I haven't like I said done one of these in absolutely so long and my makeup routine products changes all the time like all the time so here is one that is working for me today so I don't know if I only do this I'm sure I'm not but changing up your makeup your products Sometimes in the summer, I can't use certain products because it dries me out. Sometimes in the winter, like vice versa. So it's working for me today is what I'm gonna be using. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and um, going to have a happy new year. 2022 was amazing. Knock on wood. Um, I think it was one of my best years in the last couple of years and I'm just so grateful for that and I hope you guys had a wonderful year also. If not, I know next year is going to be so much better. I have two drawers full of makeup but this is what I'm using now so I just put it in one of these to bring it out here because I feel the light, I feel like the lighting is way better in my living room slash kitchen than in my bathroom. So first and foremost, why do I clap? I watch my videos back sometimes and I'm like, why am I clapping in my makeup videos? Like, I'm excited. Yes, I am. So some of these products maybe you have seen. I feel like I haven't made a, made a, made a, bleh, made a makeup video in like a year. Yeah, it's been a while. But let's, okay, so let me know. I think maybe this has been a while in my makeup routine for a long time. So the Pat McGraw primer, obsessed with this. It is like literally the only primer I feel like that works for me really well. So just a little bit, warm it up on my skin. Like I said, I'm looking at a mirror here. I'm also kind of gonna update you guys on my life and like things that have been new. Like, let's just catch up. Okay, so primer is on. The next thing I'm going to do is my brows. Guys, I go back and forth with my like products I use on my brows. I don't know. I haven't really found something that I'm like completely like obsessed with. Ooh, I don't know. So the recently I've been going back to the Anastasia Beverly Hills in chocolate. And then I'll do the Kosas brow gel, but also I'll do the Anastasia clear gel. So let's do that. Okay, brows are done. Joy. Let's, guys, I was like looking through my bronzer and I forgot that I bought the um, Char Charlotte Tilbury Sunkiss Glow Bronzer. I got it in color three, tan. I wanna use it today. So let's go on to the next one. Next product I love and I'm, use i actually took a break but i'm back is the charlotte tilbury flawless filter i'm in color 4.5 so i'm gonna just rub that because today i am going for like a glowy look so i feel like this is a product that must be in the routine if you are going for something glowy 
which I have been in a very glowy bronze look lately. Like it's very sheer, but like it makes your skin so pretty. Okay. So after that is done, I am going to go in with the Hourglass Soft Glow Foundation and I'm in color eight. I recently got the Mario foundation. I just ordered it. It's not here yet, but I cannot wait to test that out. I bet you it's amazing. So, update on my life. So I have been traveling a lot between Houston and Chicago. I have recently got into a long distance relationship well not recently but i have been splitting my time a lot between houston and chicago and um it has been an interesting adjustment but actually really fun and um yeah so i have been busy trying to balance work and traveling and um like family and my relationship and it's been actually so um, good for me in a way like I used to have to give so much time to myself and now I get to split it with someone that I really care about so that is why I have been really like off not really off social media I'm putting some aquaphor on but not keeping up with my YouTube because when I've been so busy, so grateful for Shabani, and it's been so busy and I have to do everything on my own, but also the time that I'm here, I'm working a lot and then I'll go to Chicago, stay there for like a week and then I'll be back for a little bit and then I go back. So it's very, um, a lot of changes, good changes, great changes, but um, I have to get like used to doing everything that I was doing before like YouTube and more content and all that good stuff that I actually absolutely love. Um, so yeah, today was my day to do my whole makeup routine. See my skin, that foundation's amazing. And I don't know if it, it does match my neck a little. I'm just not as tan. Um, so I actually did a chemical peel uh, it's called Melodge Peel. If you follow me on Instagram, you kind of saw my journey. So it actually took a whole layer off my skin. So I feel like I'm very pale. Um, and I stay out of the sun because I do not want wrinkles or skin cancer. Not good wood. Um, so yeah. I kind of got rid of a little bit of my freckles. But it's done such great wonders to my skin, that chemical peel. Next, we're going to bronze. My favorite. So like I said, I've never um, used this. But we're going to use it today. I'm going to go in with my Merit brush that I love so much. I'm just going to kind of dab. I don't know what I'm working with yet, so let's see. Oh. Oh. Okay. I see. Whoa. That's so pretty. Okay. We love her. So anyways, let me see what else I can update you with. Um, I had a really fun um, little pop-up, actually, um, at my cousin's office here in Houston for Botox Day. So it was kind of like, come get your Botox and um, shop. And it was so much fun. And it was something different to try out. I still want to plan like my big markets because I absolutely love those. And I love to connect with all like the small businesses that are like local. So um, I'm going to plan one of those soon. And then I also want to do like an outdoorsy market uh really soon too before summer because we all know if you live in houston it's like impossible for we, us to do that in the summer and that is why when i uh first in my market here in houston i made sure 
that it was indoors just because it is so dang hot in the summer here in Texas. So yeah, sorry, I need to make sure I am blending because that is important. I feel a little glowy already. I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna take the Merit a Beverly Hills Cream Blush. I love this stuff. It literally comes on like butter. And guys, I love blush. Like, I'm obsessed with blush. I feel like it is the most important part of my makeup routine. So, we're gonna blend the blush. Okay, so far looks good. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna go in with more. I actually got another color of this. That's how much I love it. Um, I don't remember what color, but I ordered it online. I also still love the Orgasm NARS blush. That is the OG perfect blush, but we are trying new things. Come, yes, new things. Okay, next I like to go in with a powder bronzer. I really love these two. I've loved this one forever. It's the NARS um, bronzer and then the Makeup by Mario. This is actually not a bronzer. This is a um, skin corrector or perfector, but I use it as a bronzer. So actually I'm gonna go in with this in my Big Sephora Pro Bronzer number 80 blush, bronzer brush. Love this. And then I'll just kind of go over. What do you guys think so far? Okay, next I'm going to take my um, Fenty Brightening um, Eye Brightener and I'm using color Butter. I'm going to just put a little smudge on my finger. And guys, also this is not concealer. If you're anything like me, I recently learned what an eye brightener is. It just brightens it under your eyes. It has a little bit of coverage, nothing too crazy. And I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty um, little brush that I have. See how bright it makes the under of your eyes. I'll kind of take it to my eyebrow. I mean, under my eyebrow, not to my eyebrow. On, you can see it kind of brightened up under my eyes. Then I'm gonna go in with my Kosas Concealer number 05W. And I'm gonna go right here. I love concealer. I also think it like brightens up my face. I mean my eyes, sorry. And I will just take my beauty blender. I used to absolutely like love matte makeup. Like I loved everything to be matte, not shiny at all. And now I'm like the complete opposite. There goes that. Then I'm going to go in with my powder blush. I said I love blush. And I mix these two colors. So I kind of just go like this. Guys, if you guys have or know any small businesses in Houston, I would love for you to DM me their um, Instagram handle or any of their information. Um, I love to put them on my list of things, a list of like small businesses that I know and support. And also like I would love to invite them to any market that I have in the future. Um, this is my Instagram handle. So just send me a message. Okay, next step. I'm going to go in. I'm almost done with this stuff. This stuff is amazing because I don't bake anymore. So this is like what I do now. So this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm using color two. So just put some right here and then I go dab under my eye next last but not least is my just kidding i need to do eyeshadow now actually i'm gonna do my rare beauty i'm gonna do some highlighter i have this rare beauty highlighter um and it is color flaunt 
It's so pretty. It's gorgeous. Where is my highlighter brush? Okay, so I'm taking this Sephora number 98, just dabbing into it. Okay, highlighter done. Next, we're gonna go in with the Mario eyeshadow palette. I love this stuff. Um, it's like the perfect everyday wear. I'm going to just mix these two colors and go all over my eyelid. Okay, next I'm gonna take this uh, brush, it's also Sephora. This one was Sephora also. This is for the crease. I'm just gonna take this one right here. Dab, dab. So for 2023 and all the cool things that it's gonna bring all the good the bad I am ready and I'm so excited because I am actually doing the getaway house again we're gonna work together one more time and well I love to work with them as long as they are willing to work with me but we are going, um, they're sending me and my boyfriend to their Chicago um, location, actually, the second week of January. So stay tuned for that video because I will be posting a lot. Okay, I'm going to take this brush. It looks like this. I forgot how to. Okay. And I'm just going to go in with, is this a good brush to go in with? Maybe not. So I'm going to use this little thing and go in with this dark brown and kind of use it as an eyeliner but like not really because I'm gonna blend it all in okay so a little bit of um, chocolate on the top and now I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna mix these two colors together and go under my eye so I just put some eyeshadow under my eye and honestly I think it makes my eye look bigger even though my eyes are already very big it just kind of brightens it up if you can see the difference all right now we're gonna curl the eye sh eyelashes did I get all the eyelashes in there yes and I like to lift up I feel like it gives it more volume Okie dokie. After I do that, I like to actually take like one of these eyebrow brushes and just kind of brush the eyelashes out before I prime. Next, I'm going to take my Dior primer um, eyelash for my eyelashes and just go over my eyelashes. Okie dokie. Mascara is done. Um, I just used the, this is from CVS, it's amazing. The telescopic uh, mascara and the color very black, I believe. So yes, this stuff is great. I put it on the bottom and the top. And last but not least, I'm using this lip gloss on top of my Aquahor. That is it. Ugh, I keep looking here. I need to look here. My new camera makes me so confused. And this is just a makeup wipe. I'm going to take all that extra makeup off my hands. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you like this makeup look. I also uh, use this off camera, the um, setting spray, but I am almost done with this stuff. I love it. It's Charlotte Tilbury All Nighter Setting Spray. It's amazing. And that's about it. So I hope you guys liked today's video. I miss you guys. I miss filming. I miss interacting with um, you beautiful souls. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for being here today. And that's about it. I will see you in 2023. I think this will be the last video of 2022. And one of my promises to myself is to make a lot of good content for you guys next year. And I got a new camera. So I have no excuse. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell notification somewhere up here. So every time I post a video, you can be notified. Have a great day. See you in the next one.